Hello folks, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for being here. It is a very tired day for me today. I've just been on a night shift and I am zonked. Zonks.com. But this uh, nice blanket here is proving to be a very uh, comfy addition to the sofa. So a bit more of a laid back feel, but we've been talking a lot about Project Big Picture, um, which is the, the latest plan from the big six clubs to effectively take control of football um, and push through a plan that they've been working on for quite a few years. You can call it pod, uh, Project Big Six, if you like. Project Big Future. Um, Project Fracturing Football. I mean, it is, it's, you know, it's properly divided the game, hasn't it? A lot of people have got opinions on this as well. Um, effectively, the Big Six clubs, Arsenal, Manchester United, Manchester City, um, Tottenham, uh, Liverpool, and um, who's the other one? Jeez, who's the other one? Uh, Chelsea. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> you can tell I'm tired, can't you? And um, and three others who've been given special voting rights, uh, West Ham, Southampton and Everton for their time in the top flight, have um, come together and have effectively put together a plan to bail out the EFL, the lower leagues, um, but granting themselves more power to take control of bigger decisions for the Premier League. And effectively that you know can involve many things to do with picking owners of clubs, um, changing the structure of the league is one thing that they're mooting, which would bring it down to 18 teams rather than 20. Um, and there'd be um, fewer clubs in the EFL um, off the result of that too. So I think if you are, if you're passionate about kind of seeing you, the bigger clubs do better on the world stage and on the European stage, this by all accounts sounds like it could be something that works for the teams. Um, they would have more control, more power. They'd they'd have more um, influence over the league, as effectively as it was, as it is. Um, and they'd be able to call the shots more. The Premier League are not happy about this. The government's not happy about this. The FA are not happy about this. I, I mean, but it's effectively a night. It's a bailout package for the lower leagues. So two hundred fifty million pounds they'll be getting, as well as a percentage, twenty five percent of of revenue to go towards. Um, costs that they'll need, no doubt, in the future after this pandemic has effectively shattered every economic model you can think of for them. Um, I don't know if they have a choice. I really don't. Um, at the moment, it doesn't look like there's many... I've heard about private equity and other investment companies trying to buy into the EFL to help save it. But you know, even Rick Parry, the EFL chair, is, is up for it by the look of things. So it's it's you can tell that the momentum is trying to get this thing over the line. Um, the clubs are desperate for money. That's the bottom line. Everyone is desperate for money at the moment, but particularly football league clubs, because I remember when the pandemic first hit, we were talking to a lot of uh, football league chairmen and some of them were saying that, you know, 80 plus clubs could go bust in light of this. And I actually think that's a lot of people were poo pooing that and saying it was nonsense. But I think it's quite a realistic figure when you think about it, you know, in terms of if this was to keep going for a few more months, how many clubs could realistically survive? Um, you don't, there's no real, you know, there's no real projection on it. And I think that a lot of people who try to project that, or predict that would, would struggle. So yeah, I don't know whether they're in a good position to be able to, to come back on and push back on the big sixes plans because they are effectively giving them a bailout option here. A lot of people are saying that um, it's going to potentially ruin the game. Um, the lower leagues won't be the same. They won't have the same allure. They won't have the same charm, charisma and pull factor and the big six clubs are just going to effectively you know monopolize the top flight and yeah not not allow the sort of um, amazing success stories like Leicester winning the league to come through it will be, just be dominated by them <laughs> um, so gosh big times big money big talk uh, what do you think do you think the big six's plans would be Something to look to and something to to think about in the future. Uh, there is just that it's it's. I tell you something. It's uh, yeah. These these times have caused for radical thinking, haven't they? Hit me up in the comments below and uh, drop a like and subscribe as well if you fancy doing that too. But I'd love to know your thoughts and love to know what you think about the uh, project big picture as it's being dubbed. I have a feeling that because the FA are against it and they've got this golden share um, vote to veto things like this, I just don't know whether it will get through but it has certainly stimulated debate and what is clear and what is certain that a plan needs to be put in place to um, stop communities and stop communities clubs going under because it is serious at the moment isn't it um so let me know what you think is it a good plan 
Do you think it's um, soul destroying for the game or do you think that it's the only way forward? I'd love to know your thoughts. Hit me up in the comments below. Subscribe, like, do all the usual stuff. I am off to bed. Thanks for watching. See you soon.